slab tear. The shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint. The socket of the shoulder is called the glenoid. It is a shallow joint. The labrum is a cuff of cartilage around the socket. It deepens the socket. The biceps tendon inserts into the top of the labrum and glenoid. The labrum deepens the socket and provides stability to the shoulder joint. What is a slab tear? A slab tear occurs where the biceps tendon inserts into the glenoid labrum. The word slab means tear of the superior labrum from anterior to posterior. What is the difference between a slab tear and Bankert lesion? A slab tear is an injury to the glenoid labrum at the insertion of the biceps tendon due to overhead activities. The Bankert lesion is an injury to the anterior inferior glenoid labrum due to repeated anterior shoulder dislocation. Slap tear is usually caused by fall into the outstretched hand, repetitive overhead activity, and heavy lifting. The area of the labrum where the slap tear occurs is susceptible to injury because it is an area of poor vascularity. Classification of slab lesions the most common classification divides slab lesions into four types, initially classified by Snyder. Method expanded the classification to include type 5, type 6, and type 7. These types include concomitant pathology in addition to the slab lesions. Classification of slab lesions Type 1, usually degenerative in nature and it is present in the majority of the active population. Isolated fraying of the superior labrum with a firm attachment of the labrum to the glenoid. Type 2, the most common type of slab tear characterized by detachment of the superior labrum as well as the long head of the biceps from the glenoid. Type 3, characterized by bucket handle tear of the labrum with an intact biceps insertion. The labrum tears and flips into the joint. This condition is rare. Type 4, bucket handle tear of the labrum that extend into the biceps tendon, and this condition is also rare. Type 5, bankert lesion of the anterior capsule that extends into the anterior superior labrum. Type 6, disruption of the biceps tendon anchor with an anterior or posterior superior labral flap tear. Type 7, extension of a slab lesion anteriorly to involve the area inferior to the middle of the glenohumeral ligament. What are the conditions associated with a slab tear? Rotator cuff pathology in about 40% and shoulder instability. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.